your brain records far more than you can consciously remember. Even moments you believe are completely forgotten never truly disappear. They don't vanish with time, and they are not erased by sleep or distraction. They're stored quietly, outside awareness, shaping your reactions without ever announcing themselves to you. Forgetting doesn't mean deletion. It means inaccessibility, and that difference matters more than most people realize. Have you ever felt uneasy for no clear reason? Or emotional without knowing why it started? Maybe a place, a sound, or a situation made you uncomfortable without explanation. Those reactions often come from experiences you can't consciously recall, but your brain still recognizes. Your mind may say, I don't remember. While your nervous system says, I've seen this before. That disconnect between memory and feeling is not a flaw. It is how the brain is designed to function efficiently. Memories are stored in layers. Some are easy to access and easy to describe. Others are sealed deeper, away from conscious thought. The brain prioritizes survival, not accuracy or detail. If recalling something causes distress or overload, access can be restricted automatically. This doesn't erase the memory. It simply locks it behind emotional and neurological barriers. Emotion acts like a tag. Strong feelings mark experiences as important, even when details are hidden. So the brain archives the experience, preserving its influence without replaying the event itself. Here's the unsettling part. You don't need to remember something for it to affect you. Your choices, fears, preferences, and habits can be guided by memories you cannot consciously access. These hidden records quietly shape behavior from the background. In other words, forgetting does not mean freedom from influence. It often means the influence becomes harder to notice and therefore harder to control. This explains sudden discomfort, irrational fear, or emotional reactions that seem to come from nowhere. Your brain detects patterns before your awareness catches up. Feeling comes first. Explanation comes later. That's why certain sounds, places, faces, or situations trigger emotions without a clear memory attached. The memory isn't replayed as an image or a story. It's replayed as a sensation, a reaction, a physical response in the body. Neuroscientists call this implicit memory, information stored without conscious recall. It allows the brain to learn from experience while protecting you from emotional overload. This system helps you react quickly without reliving everything you've ever experienced. So when you say, I don't remember, your brain might answer, I do, because nothing truly important is ever lost. It's only stored where you cannot see it, quietly shaping who you are. The brain remembers so you don't have to. And that 